afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Are You Ready? I pray you're having a very blessed afternoon in the Lord Jesus. Jesus loves you. I got some very important information for you. Food shortages across the United States. According to Israeli News Live, they just received this information. Their contacts have shown that many stores in the United States are getting less products. Uh, some of these are Costco. Costco is getting 50% less products. Gas stations are getting 25% less products that they sell. Uh, Publix are one of the things they are, the contacts they have is they are rearranging a lot of the their products in their stores. This is happening at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, across the United States. Again, Sam's Club is also doing the same thing. 50% are receiving 50% less products in their stores. This is happening across the United States of America. What is happening? Is this a real thing? Is this a real famine? As the Bible talks about, it talks about that. It, it's the word limos, which talks about food scarcity, which is going to happen in the last days. In Luke chapter 21, verse 11, talks about there will be food scarcity in the last days. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to be prepared. Have enough at home, enough non-perishable foods, uh, you know, pastas, beans, uh, especially water. Have lots of water, things that you would not need to be put in a refrigerator. Again, be prepared. Don't wait till the last minute. Have plenty of flashlights, candles, um, and if you can get a generator, fantastic. Don't wait till the last minute. We're living in the last days. You know, I believe that in the soon return of the Lord Jesus Christ, the rapture is about to happen. The question is, are you ready? Do you know him? Do you know Christ as Savior and Lord? Do you know what you're going to spend eternity? If you don't know Jesus, you can come to know him right now. God sent his son to die for you on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. And on the third day, he rose again. All you have to do now is receive him. He died on the cross for the, for the forgiveness of your sins. Why? Because you and I were born in sin. Sin separates us from relationship with God the Father. So that's why he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for you. So right now, wherever you're at around the world, let Jesus come into your heart. Let him be the Lord of your life. Repent of all your sins and receive him as Savior and Lord. I encourage you to do this right now, wherever you're at. Pray with me. Let him in your heart. Let him be the Lord of your life. Let him be God, Savior, Redeemer, Transformer. He can do that right now. Just repent of your sins. Time is running short. Tomorrow is promised to no one. I encourage you right now to receive Jesus as Savior. Say, Jesus Christ, I repent of all my sins. I receive you as Savior and Lord. Wash me in your precious blood. From this moment on, I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, pray for every single person who say yes to you. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Give them a hunger for your word and connect them to a church where they can be discipled. In Jesus' name, amen. If you gave your life to Christ, welcome to the family of God. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Please subscribe to Are You Ready? And share this video with as many people as possible. Again, don't wait till the last minute. This could be actual shortages or could it be something uh, being uh, caused brought about others doing so I don't know what do you think either way you need to be prepared don't wait to the last minute have non perishable foods at home number one plenty of water all right again please subscribe to are you ready and click notification and share this video with as many people as possible Shalom, Shalom, Yerushalayim. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom.